Good morning. It is Friday, December 11, 2020. Bed Talk 189. And yes, according to the picture, we are talking about bourbon. Sort of, kind of. I'm often asked by people, where do you come up with all these ideas and topics for the bed talk? And I always give the same answer, which I don't really work at it. They just come to me or a thought will cross my mind or someone will say something or ask something. It just always shows up. And today's bed talk actually showed up at an event last night. I went to a very small networking kind of gathering and I guess, I don't know if I'm ever really caught off guard. I was somewhat caught off guard because at the end of the meeting, they were going around and said, Jeff, and I kind of was, I was, I actually wasn't present. I looked up and I had, as I do right now, a bourbon in my hand. And they said, anything special to share at the end? And I thought, what does special mean? What do they mean? What are we, what's the real topic? And I didn't know. And so I started off talking about bourbon and I said, I I guess I'm thinking about bourbon right now. And I saw the looks on their faces of this, really, this guy's going to talk about bourbon, but here's what I said, which I'm going to share with you. I said, you know, I noticed tonight, which I've noticed many times before about bourbon that I love the smell of bourbon. It's unique. It's distinctive. I like the smell of many things. I like my smell of my wines, food. There's something distinctive about bourbon. And I said, you know, I realized tonight that, or reinforced tonight, that many times I enjoy smelling the bourbon as much as I do drinking it. And I looked at their faces. And again, I I saw this look of judgment of, he's talking about drinking and alcohol again. But then I continued with this as the thought was just pouring out of me. I said, you know, it's kind of like life. That so much we talk about that life is about the journey, not the destination. And bourbon's kind of the same. The destination is maybe a buzz, right? But part of the journey is enjoying the taste of the bourbon. But a real part of the journey of bourbon is the aroma and the smell of bourbon. And it reminds me, like in life and with bourbon, we need to enjoy the whole experience. Maybe it's the tinkling of the ice in the glass. Maybe it's the sound of the bourbon as it's poured over the ice. It's certainly the smell of the bourbon, especially as this aroma comes out even more once the ice starts to melt just a little bit. I think the phrase is it opens it up. And then I taste it. The taste and flavor of it as well as the alcohol of it. I don't know what your destination is when it comes to bourbon or anything else, but I guess this is just a reminder to slow things down and to enjoy the entire experience, which is all a part of the journey. A strange and unexpected lesson from bourbon. But I guess that's the nature of bourbon. It not only intoxicates us, it creates enjoyment for us in some cases. In many cases, it just teaches us lessons about life and relationships and experiences and journeys. So that's it for today on Friday, December 11th. Have an amazing day. Enjoy your blessed weekend. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected.